Hello, this is a quick video where I will show you how you connect your Smobu properties to your Logia inventory. In the documentation site, you already have a step-by-step -step guide on how to connect your Smobu properties, what prerequisites you require, and then what, which steps it takes to connect these properties that you manage inside your Smobu application. You see the steps here. There are essentially three different steps you have to take. The first one being to create the accommodation inside the management console here, and then configure each accommodation to capture customer address, uh, but not payment, as payment is not supported in this uh, connection. And then of course you need to ensure that each accommodation also has a product and a rate plan attached. I will quickly head into the management console. So once you have logged in into your environment, you need to create a property and I have already created this one here. You can see it has all the information, details, etc. Then, of course, some the location information, services, some media, uh, a general policy, uh, and of course, uh, which is important, the product. And you can he see here are the rates that have been pushed. So, if we the, the first step to start with is, of course, to create the accommodation. In my Smobu account, I have multiple accommodations that I manage, which is an apartment, a house, tent, palace, villa. For this purpose, I'll be using the uh, villa to connect that one as well, and I'll guide you through the process. So the first step now is to create that accommodation inside the inventory first. So we have the property name exactly as here. You can use whatever property name or ID you would wish to use. You do not have to use the exact same thing as in your Smobu account. Okay, there I have my villa. I'll activate this property. Maybe give it, a, give it some nice description. This is a wonderful villa that should do the job. And there we go, I have the translation as well. We require the guest address um, <clears throat> names. That is not required. But the address should be required. Because uh, otherwise, if you do not require the address, it still works, but it will um, submit the address information as TBA, so you won't have them into your mobile. So it's good to check the information that the property requires the address. Okay, give this some location. <clears throat> yeah, maybe find a nice location. Let me quickly check. Mm. Yeah, this looks good. That is, of course, the postal code. That's the uh, city name. And that should be it. Country is the Netherlands. Okay, let's quickly save this one. It will take a while until the the system has updated. Oh yeah, it's already updated the property information. We can see, okay, that's all, all in there. Then of course we need one uh, facility, which would be uh, given that this is a villa. If, you, if it's a hotel or something else, um, you can have multiple room types. 
in this case, connecting to Smobo, it will be a one-to-one -one, uh, relationship. So um, a property cannot have, it can have multiple units and rooms, um, but it, the product will all be the same because you sim especially you simply just have one property and unit, so it's a one-to-one -one relation. <clears throat> All right, so we have the new one. This is a wonderful place with a kitchen and a, fr and a fridge. Refrigerator. Oh, All yeah, right, okay. Add some amenities to it. I'll uh, just give it some translation. Okay, and of course we need to activate the unit as well, because otherwise we'll, we'll get these information icons that there's something missing before this can be published. Now we need to create a product for this one. A product is essentially a combination of uh, the property and its unit, as well as the, um, uh, the um, board type and the rates. Uh, so I'll, I'll just call this standard. In the case of connecting Smoobo, there's anyway only a one-to-one -one relation in this regard give the rate plan we'll just call it standard there will only be one so i'll update the rate plan here as well activate the rate plan although there are no rates in here and the villa at a meal plan this is just room only so we can keep that and a policy i will create the policy as a standard let me quickly save it and just create a standard policy. Just call that the standard policy. Earliest check-in, I don't know, 11 o'clock, latest checkout, 3 p.m. Um, don't allow pets. Uh, keep free cancellation policy. Guarantee payment, we don't need that. Taxes, I'll, I'll, I'll leave that aside for, for a moment. You can, of course, configure anything because the uh, connection to Smobu will only transmit these bits and pieces here. Okay, this is the property ID, which we will need later on. And now we go to the channel connectivity because we have finalized this part. We've created the accommodation. We have configured the accommodation to capture the customer address. We have not done any payment. And we have a rate plan and a product attached. So the next step would be to go into the Smobu settings. Settings. And then go to the four developers section. And you can see I have already uh, um, web hooks and things configured here. So, okay, that's that. Of course, I need my Smobo user ID. I will show you that in a second. And I will head off to the connectivity configuration. You can see I already have a Smobo configuration for this endpoint, so I will not recreate it, but I will show you uh, which fields uh, to put where. So this one here, the endpoint for the connection, uh, you need to copy that and create a new webhook URL with this endpoint URL. You can see I have created it here already. Second one is the API key. Of course, you need you can copy the API key from here and insert it here. Sorry, and insert and insert it here. Then you need the channel ID of the endpoint and that's the settings channel ID. So this is one, two, three, four, eight, four, zero. And the mapping information for all these fields you can see are also available in the documentation just in case you want to read through it rather than trying to follow me here. You can see that we have a mapping already for uh, the uh, small boot cell, uh, just a random property I created. I'll create another mapping now. So the internal one is the one of the property I created inside the system and the remote system property code is of course the property code of the 
Smobu Villa inside the Smobu system. And you can see that's 967846. So I'll copy that value and paste it in here. Then click on Edit Connection, and I have the connection saved. Just to check, the mapping is still there. So that's the first part. Your Smobu, oh yeah, just before I forget that one. The Smobu user ID, if you create the uh, Smobu endpoint or configure it for the first time, you need to insert your user ID and the user ID you can find inside the Smobu backend, it's this one, user ID. So mine is 308206. You see, I've inserted that here. Okay. Now let's go to the calendar and just give the villa some rates. Change of dates and rates. And then just give it some rates for November until January, say 42. Minimum nights, maybe four, three. The villa, any weekday, or we'll leave our Thursdays and then click synchronize now. So let me reload and see if it inserted that to November. Yes. Okay. Although uh, Smobu says it will take a couple of minutes, uh, it's, it's usually very, very fast. So I would not be surprised. If we have some, yes, and you can see we have already received some availability information. Yeah. Important to know, you are working on this property at the same time that there is data coming in from the backside. So if you're waiting for it, make sure you reload your property contents before you check the availability, because otherwise you might be overriding some things. It's very unlikely that you override information uh, but just make sure that you reload uh, the property if you're still inside this view. Okay, so we have the um, availability information here now. We can say there's some weekdays left out because I think we, we have the minimum stay and then we had the weekdays removed so certain weekdays aren't available at all. That is perfectly fine. So I have configured a storefront site already. Has this one, not very beautiful because this is the kind of the standard, and it's in German. So if you're not speaking German, then uh, excuse me, but it's just for the sake of the presentation. We can see that we have this here and then this. So this kind of falls in line with all the limitations that we have. Or maybe take this one, take the villa. That's room only. It says room only, hundred sixty-eight euros. Off to the booking path. And then execute a booking just to check if it works. And the address. Okay. Mm, I like cheesecake and then fire the booking okay there we have the booking confirmation and if everything goes according to plan we should have a booking inside Smobu as well and we can see there's a new booking available and we already have all the details and that's pretty much it and of course I can go in and cancel this booking as well So it's now cancelled. Let me reload here. 
and you can see it's cancelled here as well. So that is pretty much the uh, implementation or integration of Smoovu. If you have any questions regarding this integration, I would recommend you read through the documentation. If there's anything left that you need to know, just contact, uh, contact us, contact the support. Um, but I think this should be quite clear now. Make sure you, you go through it carefully. The most important part, of course, is uh, create the accommodations in the console. We did that. Um, configure each accommodation to capture the customer address because otherwise you, you won't have the address information. Do not enable payment because that's not supported here uh, and it will not be pushed, so it will just be kept inside uh, the booking engine. And then, uh, very important, make sure that there's a product and a rate plan attached and uh, that should work already. Other than that, thank you for watching this. If you have questions, uh, we're happy to answer them.